All right, our next step is to uh, go ahead and put our Sykra handguards on. I have used these for many, 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 many years. I really like this particular brand and model uh, because the <clears throat> ends of the bars actually dip down. So as you're turning the bike, you know, leaning it over, your hand doesn't come in contact with the uh, edge of the uh, bar, which can happen if it's straight. So, as you noticed, I kind of splurged a little bit and got uh, the red hand guards to go with my red bike. I'm going to go with an all-red theme. I'm going to be putting red side panels and a red front number plate on there. And then uh, the number plates themselves will be yellow with black letters. So, should be kind of cool. Uh, but uh, if you've never used these hand guards before, be advised. You do need to buy this kit right here, which is about 60 bucks. And then these little guys right here, um, these are for uh, 7 8 inch bars, normal little Renthal type bars. Uh, and they cost about $38. So it's a little, uh, it's right around the same cost actually to get uh, the whole setup uh, as a kit. But anyhow, I, I wanted these, so did that. So I'll have some white spares. If anybody needs some, let me know. All right, as with everything else I do, I like to put a little uh, grease on the end of the bolt that I'm putting in there so it doesn't get seized up. One of the key things when doing this is you need to make sure that these knurled uh, little aluminum ends are actually pointed inwards in the bars. So like they go in this way into the handlebar. Um, reason being, this nut right here is actually going to tighten up and make these expand inside the handlebar and that's how they tighten up so it's going to go something like that it keeps your keeps your uh, levers typically from breaking and protects your hands obviously as you're going through brush and trees and cactus and whatnot so i have found the these these hand guards are literally invaluable and uh absolutely vital when uh racing and uh, riding off-road at any any speed really because you're going to eventually drop the bike and uh, that's what really does a great job on keeping these uh, levers from getting broken when uh, when i've run the metal hand guards these cycras i've never broken a, a, a lever so it's pretty good um, without them though they break levers continually <laughs> all right one of the things i found to be key uh, when placing these bars is to keep everything <clears throat> kind of loose initially as you uh, bolt everything on and get it ready to go so the only thing that I've even got not even really tight anyway is uh, this bolt right here these are pretty loose this is loose I'm gonna do this one first I'm gonna angle my uh, my hand guards kind of in the general direction that I want them then I'll micro adjust it from there on this side um, sometimes this is a bit of a trick clearing all of this right here but Sykers got it down to a pretty good science these are much more difficult to uh, to actually put on a dual sport bike with all the fanciness that goes uh, on a dual sport all right. also of note you're gonna want to have that little nut this little guy right here snug into this knurled section fairly tight um, as you put the bar in otherwise it's not gonna make these this area expand into the handlebar itself just a thought ready so as you're putting these on it's good to go ahead and snug this bolt just a little bit um, you're gonna want to make sure that you've got good clearance all the way around on your throttle you don't uh, necessarily want um, cruise control <laughs> with your throttle there that could get scary. Also of note, um, this little piece right here, if you have it flipped the wrong way, uh, this piece is upside down, so to speak, um, these bolts won't actually sit flush inside the, the holes that have been machined for them. So just something to uh, be aware of. I just found that out, but uh, that's that. So I snug this one pretty good. This is not loose, but it's not tight and uh, this is completely loose you know, I want to leave it a little bit loose until I have my handguards on and my my uh, 
controls and handlebars adjusted to where I want them to be because otherwise it's just kind of a wasted effort. Okay. So of note, as you're going to put on the, uh, the hand shields, it's a good idea to leave them a little bit loose like this so that you can hit those holes, get them in the holes first because sometimes the, uh, the holes have been drilled just a little bit off um, I have found in the past, although they are much better than they once upon a time were. <laughs> All right, so we've got our hand guards on. They're really close to being equally uh, adjusted height-wise. Um, I do, my hand guards are the only thing on my handlebars that are gonna be in the throttle housing. It's going to be on there very tight. Everything else I keep just a little bit loose. Uh, just so if it hits the ground, it can move a little bit. Um, let me rephrase. I don't leave them loose. I, I don't crank them down on the bars. I make it to where they can spin just a little bit if they happen to get hit. But you'll notice my clutch lever is nicely protected. I'm probably going to angle that down a little bit and angle my handlebars a little bit further forward so uh, if what that forces you to do is if you're standing up it's much more comfortable um, and also if I'm sitting down it forces you to sit in the forward part of your seat and have your elbows up as the proper you know in the proper attack stance if it were as it were so yeah pretty happy with uh, how it's turned out so far and uh, well Morty's looking pretty good